Next is Safari. You know, Safari is the best mobile web browser out there. It's also the most popular. In fact, nearly two-thirds of all mobile web browsing is done on Safari. Beyond this, we took Apple's Safari engine and open sourced it. And it's the basis of all web browsing on Android. <laughs> so the Safari engine is the basis of more than 90% of all web browsing on mobile devices. Well, in iOS 5, we're making Safari even better. We've got some great features. The first is Reader. Safari Reader becomes available up here as a new button when you're reading a story on a website. If you just tap on that button, we take the story you're reading and make it front and center. We get rid of all the distractions, set the font size right, and even if it's a multi-page story, so you'd have to tap through multiple web pages normally to get to it, we put it in a single scrolling story. It's really convenient. On top of that, you can now email the contents of the story. Before, you could just email the link. But now, when you email, you get the link plus the contents in your Compose window. And all, <laughs> and all of this works really well on the iPad. It works great on the iPhone as well. It's a perfect size for it. It sets the font size right. It's really nice to read stories. So that's Safari Reader. The second one is Reading List. Reading List is a simple and convenient way for you to quickly save a story to read it later. You just put it in the Reading List. And when you add an item to Reading List, it gets added to the Reading List on all of your iOS devices, and even the Reading List on Safari on Mac and Safari on Windows. <laughs> so if you don't have time to finish it here on the iPad, you can finish reading it later on your iPhone. And the next feature is tab browsing. We have added full tab browsing on Safari on the iPad. And you know, let me just show it to you. All right. So here I have my iPad running iOS 5. I'll launch Safari here. And the first thing you'll see with tab browsing is it is lightning fast to switch between windows now. Just tap on it, and you're there. It's great. <laughs> now I'm on uh, the DP review site, which is a fantastic review site for cameras. And they have really extensive reviews. In fact, you normally have to tap through many, many pages to read the whole review. If I look at this one here, it's uh, 20 pages long. Well, if I tap the reader button here, it loads the entire story up in reader. Now I can just scroll through. It gets rid of all the distractions, lets me concentrate just on the content. That is Reader. <laughs> you even see that when it goes between pages here, where you would have had to you know, tap to say next page, it automatically gives you a little page break so you know when it's going through those pages. Now let's say if I don't have time to finish the story right now, I can just tap the bookmarks bar item. And uh, here I have reading list. I tap plus. And now it's added this to my reading list. And again, I can go finish this on Mac, on, uh, you know, on Safari on my Mac, or any of my other iOS devices. It's great. And if I really like this and I want to tweet about it, let me show you the Twitter integration while we're here. If I tap tweet, brings up the tweet sheet. We do completion, so I have a, hit, I have a friend, uh, Gary Dunn, so I hit at G, automatically fills in the name, tap that, and I say, you know, I like this one. And I can optionally add my location, tap send, and it's tweeted. It's that easy. So some really great Safari enhancements and Twitter integration throughout. <laughs> 